It is a delight to be the honorary board chairman of such an amazing organization as ECS, and it's a delight to be here tonight. Now, of course, we are gathering here tonight in a very different way than we have before, virtually, uh, to celebrate this amazing organization called Episcopal Community Services. And of course, we gather at a time of major crisis in our country, a pandemic that has put some of our community services on hold, an economic upheaval that means that many of our clients and community members are suffering financially, and a time of renewed focus on racial injustice in our country with people demanding equity and the ability for all people to thrive regardless of ethnicity. These are all crises that tear at the fabric of our community life dividing citizen from citizen and neighbor from neighbor. And what is inspiring to me is that, of, that all of the crisis areas, health, economics, and equal opportunity for all that we are focusing on in our country in this very trying time, all of these are areas where ECS has been quietly working to make a difference for years. ECS is an organization that works to bring people back to health who suffer from mental illness and addiction and breakdown of family relationships, along with helping people with important community issues such as homelessness and affordable housing. ECS is an organization that focuses on those who, who don't have economic security, helping children to lay a foundation for education and a better way of life. And lately, it's done remarkable work to address food insecurity for those who are suffering. And ECS is an organization that has always served a very diverse clientele, building bridges to a brighter future for people of all races, ethnicities, and religious backgrounds. In other words, as our community has been divided by our emergencies of public health, financial insecurity, and racial injustice, ECS has been working for years to build a healthy community here in San Diego by addressing those very issues. Which is why we can say honestly that at ECS, community is our middle name. But what is a community? Well, every community is made up of neighborhoods and every neighborhood is made up of neighbors. But who is our neighbor? Well, in our country, we tend to think of neighbors as people who live nearby. We call people good neighbors if they don't have loud parties too late at night and if they'll lend us a hammer when we need one and if they will feed our pets if we're out of town overnight. Good neighbors, we say, are people we can trust. And since they li live nearby, they're probably a lot like us but we don't necessarily have to care about them very much. But that is not what being a neighbor is about for ECS. For ECS, being a neighbor is about inspiring children, empowering adults, and transforming communities by providing high quality social services that encourage healthy interdependence, which is the very definition of what a community is. It is an interdependent set of relationships between neighbors who care for each other. For those of us who are Christians, we know that Jesus has a lot to say about neighbors. He says we're supposed to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Neighbors for Jesus are people who might or might not be like us. They might or might not live right nearby. They might or might not have hammers to lend us or food to give our pets, but we are supposed to love them just the same way we love ourselves. A challenging thing to do. We are supposed to care for them just like we would care for our own family. When someone asked Jesus, who is my neighbor? He told a story that many Christians know and love. It's a story about a Samaritan who was busy traveling somewhere when he saw a complete stranger lying in the middle of the road in trouble because bandits had beaten him and stolen everything he had. And this good Samaritan set aside everything that he was doing and gave whatever he could to help this person who was in need. That Samaritan 
was a neighbor. A neighbor, says Jesus, is someone who sees a need in their community and turns aside to help. A neighbor cares for another person, even a complete stranger, just the way that neighbor would care for himself. A neighbor is someone who cares for others out of love. Well, that is what Episcopal Community Service has, has been for years now. It has been a neighbor to those who need a hand. It has been an organization that works to make people's lives better. It is a group of Good Samaritans who care for thousands of people in our community just the way that they would care for themselves and their families. ECS is an organization that grows out of Jesus's command to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And what amazing, loving work ECS does. For over 2,000 children who need a special hand to prepare for formal education, ECS gives them a head start in life. Through early childhood education, ECS prepares the youngest of children for success in school, and it helps them develop habits and character that will stay with them throughout life. And in this strange time of the COVID-19 pandemic, the care that ECS gives these children has grown to encompass their families too, as it's providing food to whole families of the Head Start children with food insecurity. ECS saw people who needed a hand and decided that it could help. How inspiring is that? When you can't do the ministry that you're called to do, you find another way to do ministry. ECS is truly helping families survive this time of quarantine, unemployment, and hardship. ECS is truly a good neighbor. ECS is hard at work, quietly transforming lives every day. By being a good neighbor to those who need a helping hand, ECS is building strength and resilience in families and neighborhoods. ECS is actually saving lives. By helping people reach their full potential, ECS is helping thousands of people build bridges to a brighter future. Working with ECS, you get to hear some remarkable stories. So just in a recent um, set of board information, we heard about a four-year-old boy who'd had frequent temper tantrums and difficulty concentrating, who learned new behaviors, is expressing a affection with family members, and miracle of mir miracles, he has been potty trained. A man who was formerly homeless with significant substance abuse issues is now sober and learning new strategies for life. And when his counselor told him that she was proud of him, he teared up and said, no one's ever told me they're proud of me before. A woman who was on drugs and on probation has been clean for a year and is able to see her children again. Those are just a few of the many miracle stories that ECS makes happen every day. And these things could not happen without ECS's amazing staff and contributors, without the dedicated leadership of Executive Director Leslie Keller, whose years here have truly been transformative for ECS and our community, without the hundreds of staff who labor every day to help people build better lives, without all the donors and board members who help this organization serve our community, ECS could not do this ministry of miracles. So thank you. Thank you to Leslie. Thank you to the leadership team. Thank you to the staff. Thank you to supporters. Thank you to all the clients who put their trust in ECS to make this community a better place to live for all of us by being a neighbor, by loving others, by caring for people, you are helping our community thrive. In a time of deep trouble in our nation, ECS is one place where I find hope. Hope in the future, hope in our people, hope that people who have lost everything can still recover, hope that for whoever needs help, a neighbor is here holding out a hand, lifting up our city, and creating a community where all can reach their potential. Because at ECS, 
Community is our middle name.